Um, yeah, it's not supposed to be like that. Oh. It's really not supposed to be like that. <laughs> you ever not play a game for a while and wonder what the hell you did last time you were here? Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Ooh. Check this thing out. Well, that's exciting. What's up, guys? This is Heiss. We're back in the valley. The boys are back again. It's going to be a good time. I got told on Discord that there was a new steam engine for Deer Isle Valley, and here it is. And this is definitely something that's out of my normal purview, so this is going to be fun to look at. It's called the MEV-475, and it's uh, presently smoking sideways, which... Um, not sure what's going on there. But anyways. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. This is... This is very foreign to me. But it looks really nice. It spawned in with a fair amount of pressure thanks to Zybok. Um, hmm. So we get to play figure out what all the things do. Oh boy. The detail on this is awesome. I don't know enough about the real locomotive to say how faithful it is, but from what I can see right now, the, the detail is pretty significant. And mechanically, most of the detail makes sense right away. Although the suspension actually doesn't seem accurate to American locomotive design, to me but it may be accurate for whatever country this locomotive is from. So uh, you may be able to disregard what I'm saying. American engines are always set up as a tripod where you've got three distinct groups of suspension, but this seems to be dead pinned right here into the frame. Then it runs all the way across to the, uh, the front driver. So it's two, one or two sets, depending on how it's set up. Looks like two sets. <laughs> Mechanical lubricator, presumably. Kind of wacky setup for the valve gear, which is wall shirts, I think. This is neat. A lot of really good detail. The cylinder cocks, I mean, those are massive, but, you know, it's fine. They're there. The leverage is there. This is cool. All right, well, let's figure out how to run it. I don't know what that is. That's our brake, locomotive brake. Is, is that sand? Okay, manual sand lever. That is a dump valve of some flavor. Okay. Oh, that that would be the injector. Okay. Weird. This is okay. That's got to be a reverse. It's a very strange reverse. And so that's the throttle. Guess we should probably lace this up and start charging the train. We should probably also light the fire. Oh God, it's got like a, a really narrow firebox, like it's a keyhole almost. That's fun. Let's get a couple scoops of coal in there. Oh, and it's self-lighting. A neat feature of some custom car loaded steam engines. That's probably damper. If I had to guess. 
That is a control that does nothing. As is that. At least in game. Okay. And that's the blower. All right. Okay. Now that that's now open all the way that way. That's the way we want it. Where's the loud thing? That is the weirdest whistle ever I think I've ever seen. I can't even see how it works either. Well, it's quite nifty. Oh God, is that like a top operated whistle or something? Oh yeah. That's that's not what any whistle I've ever seen looks like. Okay. So we got a little dome thing here. We got a sand dome here. And then we've got this big dome up here with safeties on it. Yeah, that must be what that is. All right. Well, um, I guess I'm going to figure out what contract this is uh, and see about heading out the door here. O-W-N-F-H-32. Okay. The F-H-32. 26 minutes to get to the harbor. What are the odds this works? That's shocking. All right. Well, let's do it to E-8-I. Can this cute little thing do it? Get it wide open. Come on. <laughs> the drivers are so little that it uh, it does more than quarter slips. That's very cute. Theoretically, all the brakes are released and charged up. This is definitely not a road engine. And we're going to be putting it over the road. Probably mistakenly. Let's see how it goes. It is very cute. I gotta say. I'm not sure who made this model. I should have taken note when I was there looking. But I do quite like the way it looks. Come on. Beans. Speed. Power. We remember how to play this game, right? Come on. I've been waiting for something new to do in the game for so long because it's been, you know, <laughs> not many updates. We're all waiting for a simulator to come out. But I couldn't resist not seeing the boys for once in a while. And when I heard there's a new steam engine, you know, it just made sense to grab in and jump in. A fun fact, uh, Leighton and I have been planning a uh, short film based on the, the boys, Explodey Boys, in Deer Isle Valley, um, called Unsplodable. It's going to be a, a silly uh, joke version of Unstoppable, but about the tank cars. And uh, I've bought a couple G-scale tank cars that we're planning on finding a way to literally safely blow up. So uh, look forward to that. And uh, if you'd like to be you know, in support of that, make sure you join us on the ESD train crew. Um, cause Lord knows I want to see some real tank cars blow up, even if they're small. <laughs> it's a good looking choo-choo. I love the, uh, the particle effects going on. Although those might be partially Zybox. What is, is this like the dynamo up front up here? I guess that's the dynamo. It's got an exhaust plumb right in front of the stack. It's kind of weird. Oh, and there's our water tender hatch. We can look and see how much uh, water. We have two water at the water tanks. So Lord knows we're probably going to uh, go through it all. Oh, good, and I can go through the window. That's handy. All right, which way do we need to go here? Need to be going uh, to the right, straight. Cool. We're doing that. 
I like the detail that the uh, the doors can all open. Broke a misaligned junction. What did we run through? I didn't think we ran through anything. Oh, good heavens, we are killing our water level. Get that uh, starting to do something. Put all the coal in there. Combustion efficiency is not doing too well, but you know, it's. I'm putting this poor 080 on its knees, hauling a bunch of stuff over the road right now, so. Alright, now it's really filling up, so. We just want to keep that water level about the same if we can. And it seems to be quite delayed in what it does, which is interesting. And we are on the right track, but man, we gotta get to the harbor pretty quick. This thing is not wanting to get going terribly quick. The cutoff stops at 45%? Or it's always at 45%. Interesting. Maybe this one doesn't play too nice with the Zybox Steam mod, I don't know. So that's all the way in the corner. And the valve gear looks like it's all the way in the corner when I do that. What if when I bring it back? It's got animated valve gear. Hell yeah. Well done. I love that. But it's not uh, playing nice with Zybox Steam mod. And maybe this thing just doesn't go fast. That might be... Or is this brake on? Oh, okay, now this is the independent brake, which is uh, modeled as a handbrake, presumably, rather than an actual uh, air brake, but it's acting as an air brake because that's the only thing we have in the game, I think. Well, just keep it, keep it rolling. Come on. This is a really well done model. I'm really pleased with this thing. Seeing all the little detail, washout plugs, the way the jacket's set up, all the piping and all the drain. Looks like somebody cared when they piped these up, tricocks like that. <laughs> yeah, we're never making it to the harbor on time. Going 32, Are you kidding me? I mean, it's got itty bitty drivers, so. We are beating the hell out of it right now. It does steam, seem to steam very well. Particularly when you almost run the boiler out of water. So maybe I can put it all the way in the corner. With this counterclockwise screw reverse, it's very weird. Very non-typical to what I'm used to. Oh, so I might add, uh, I did finally find my VR headset. So at some point, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see that. Uh, <laughs> having me tackle DRL Valley in VR. See if I can accidentally punch my desk again, like last time I did that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to play in VR, but uh, definitely hazardous in smaller areas. You gotta shovel coal, you end up flinging uh, rather violently. Apparently 30, 32 is what this does. Almost tempted to drop the cars off and see if it goes faster than that. God, it looks properly good though, doesn't it? And you can see it's quartered correctly even from the front when you stare at it, unlike the, uh, the normal SH-282 is. Because you can see each set of uh, counterweights bouncing around. It almost looks like an air gauge engine that's been sized up or something.
Yeah, this thing's rad. The question is, will I make it there before running out of water? Appears to be s water in there still. I didn't fire up on a uh, service pad because we left from oil well north. We gotta head to the harbor now. And with how my harbor was the last couple times I was there, the harbor will probably all blow up the second it loads. So that might uh, might get a little interesting. What a neat little engine. Radius Rod's got a bit of a hitch in its giddy up in the animation, but it's not the end of the world. If I put it in reverse, do we get to... Yep. How many boys do we have? We've got a, a lot of boys in this train. This is a very large train for this little thing. I love the detail and the beauty in this model. It's really, really well done. I do have to say, though, I'd love to see a big steam engine or something for the game come out. Something big and fast. Stares at Greg. <laughs> and of course, all patiently waiting for a simulator as well. Simulator's supposed to be pretty cool. Supposed to come out late this year, maybe early next year, I think. We're slowing down significantly, so I'm just going to dump the bar in the corner and fill up the firebox again. It's not going to make the hill, is it? Sad day. Sad day for such a promisingly pretty choo-choo. I have the throttle wide open. We're all the way in the corner. And it's just... That's that. What are these wacky rods? These weird extra fittings and spaces. Very foreign to me. Well, that's unfortunate. It's all right. I can help. Whistle wants the bees. <laughs> I gotta put the tender on just to see, to see that. Yeah, also while I was on Nexus Mods, I saw someone made another uh, flavor of es and Mikado. And I think, I think it actually, this pack has uh, not just the Mikado, but I think it also has the DE2 and the DE6. And this is just a very fun skin. This is very good. We're giving it sand, like, is this train this awful? What is going on? Is this thing just a brick sled? An SH-282 is not gonna pull it? Like, come on. Where's the blower on this? Blower is there. All right, I've tabbed out to check Nexus mods. And the MAV-475 is made by Nico Fox. And then the ES&D skins are made by Fly Jr. 172 and Antimatter. Oh god, there's three different skins for the SH-282.
Yes, indeed. I don't know if that's one of the ones they made. Ace and D parrot. Ace and D antimatter. Ooh, I like that. Oh, it updates the tender at the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> All right, so we have the S and D antimatter, which has the get in the cab before you die joke added on it. The Herald version, which is the uh, the toilet seat. And then the parrot flavor. I gotta say, um the the Heralds this is like this is what I was hoping for the whole time. That's very good. The fact that it doesn't want to move. It's quite obnoxious, but you know. I guess the hill's steep. Come on, help your buddy out, bud. You're supposed to have plenty of steam. Do we need another another one just to like get this going? <laughs> We're not making money on this job. And I'm pretty sure my bank account is still just absolutely ruined. So Yeah, go guys, go. You got this, guys? Seems to be taking it now that we've got it rolling. Let's go check and make sure we're vaguely lined through things that aren't gonna kill us immediately. Cool. This poor little Oedo is probably screaming in, you know. For its drivers to not fall off going this fast. You heard him. The whistle wants the beans. The beans! Oh crap. Lined it in the nick of time. Whistle says, yeah, you did. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm glad we kept that. Get back in the cab before you die. No, okay. I mean, that seems to be good advice. Whistle wants the beans. We give the whistle the beans. Weird just burning through water as fast as can be. Broke another misaligned junction. What junction did we break? Oh, I guess we could have just trailed that one right there. Yeah, it's fine. I installed Zybox Realism and then didn't talk about it at all. Sorry, Zybox. We'll get there eventually, perhaps. Whistle says, yeah, you better. Okay. All right. How's our MIV doing? It doesn't seem to know how to chuff this fast. It's just like being drug along. <laughs> it does have pretty small drivers. Still making steam though. 
This is the uh, the stupidest ESMD doubleheader that's happened in quite some time. Yeah. Yeah, this is um, a little extra stupid with a side of stupid sauce. <laughs> and yeah, that poor 080 would be screaming having his drivers going that fast. It's fine. Yep, Whistle says it's fine. Whistle also says he wants beans, so we'll do it. What are you bringing about? This little thing is still not chuffing. worries me when it doesn't chuff. Why is there a shutoff valve for the pressure gauge? That seems heinously deviant. You shouldn't be doing that. Start to pick up some speed here. This is as hell yeah. Those derail numbers aren't that spicy. I've seen spicier. We're just gonna not heed that warning again. It's now in Railroad Roman, so I really appreciate the uh, the high level of shit post that that is, making the combustion efficiency go down, but the number of coals is going up, so it seems to be a net bonus. And the 080 still has no idea what's going on. Just, I can't go this fast. What are you doing to me? <laughs> what are we doing? Have we put the fire out yet? Not quite. It seems to be pretty decent on fuel efficiency. This little thing. And it still hasn't run out of water. Which is surprising. Whistle says, hell yeah, we got beans. We're serving beans. Only doing like 70, so. We're not even at the reducing speed limit, so we've got places to be still. I guess I should listen to this warning. Whistle says, yeah, yeah. Stop putting water in, ding dong. You've got plenty. Those D-roll numbers are starting to get a little spicy. You like to see it. on that junction here shortly. I'm not heeding the warning this time. So I want to wait till I can see the switch. There's the switch. We are lined to the right. There's only 60 through there. We can't be doing six. Oh, yep, yes we can. Well, we didn't quite jackknife into the tunnel portal, which is kind of what I was expecting to happen. Whistle says, please stop, dear God. I was hoping I was gonna fling it clear of the railroad so that I could see uh, if they put anything on the underside. Insufficient funds. Oh, well, I guess, um, I guess that's, uh, that goes there. Bye, friends. <laughs> thanks, thanks for helping. Come on, little boy. Go. 
Go. Go train, go. This thing really is a shunter that I'm asking to do a lot. I wanted to see if they put anything on it. It's a little cursed for me to do that mid-route, but you know. We need more speed, we need more power. And we've been given a Santa Fe 6 chime this time, so we're blessed. Make sure that the air is not cut in. Okay, the air is not cut in. The whistle says give it the beans! Something's gone off. At least two things have gone off. Oh, they're in the, the consist of boys. That's prob- Oh, that's bad. That's this, that's gonna be the first high-speed boy explosion. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. That's not gone well. Yeah, it's um... I wanted to throw the engine off and we threw the end off or something? Get me up the, this garbage terrain. Oh, hang on. These ones are leaking, though, so... <laughs> I know what to do with these. <laughs> there they are. Good boys. Well, that didn't go very well. I need to know if they, they, they had to, like... I don't know that they did, but I just have this premonition that they put jokes on the underside for when I do things that I do. So, I guess we'll sign off with a uh, another test of that. It's gonna come up on this. Oh, 
I was hoping it was going to come off on that left-hander. That'll work. Oh, it does say something! Okay, good. Oh, it's, uh... You're supposed to read it the other way. Needs... Be needs belly scratches. Sorry, SH282. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know that they'd written anything down there, but I was like, okay, if they made a new version of an ESD skin, what would you do? You would do precisely that. What good fun. Well, anyways, this didn't go as planned, but again, I'm pretty sure if we. If I if I just teleport to the harbor, I'm pretty sure it'll just blow up. Like I'm pretty sure that's all my harbor does anymore is it just blows up when I walk towards it. Because the train cars all spawn in and they're all like intersecting and stuff. Oh. Or maybe not. Okay. Well then. I guess we can actually run trains again. Well, that's exciting for next time. Oh, this is an ESND DE2. <laughs> Very fun. A bunch of uh, bunch of German choo-choo's in here. Yeah, look at all these class 86s. Anyways, that didn't turn out as expected, but it's been a minute since we played Dear All Valley. And I wanted to kind of bring it back a little bit. I know I've done a lot of real railroad content lately. And hopefully there's still time and place for the video game stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So let me know what you think down below, of course. And check out the MAV. It's a, it's a neat little steam engine. I definitely think switching service is its deal. And uh, if you want to do something for the road, check out those ESD skins. Because, you know, then you can give your uh, SH282 some belly rubs. I think that uh, got auto cleaned up by... Oh, no, there it is. And make sure you check out the s and skins so you can give your SH282 some belly rubs, belly scritches. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time.